So this is the really important connection to link the greenway that's out by Blue Ridge Drive and Aerial Way, Roanoke River Greenway, to the main part of Roanoke River Greenway that's contiguous between Bridge Street and Bennington Trailhead. Um, this is the last of the Bridge the Gap for the city of Roanoke. So it's a one mile stretch that's under construction. It has a bridge on it and it is going to allow folks to ride from the Cook Drive Trailhead in the city of Salem all the way to the Bennington Trailhead in Roanoke about 12 to 12 and a half miles when it'll be done. Yeah, and then on this side of our yes, we're going to have to put in a wooden fence. Well, um, part of the greenway has been paved and we it's still not open yet. You know, I'll advise people not to uh, um, use the, that, this section of the greenway at this moment in time, but we expect to complete the greenway around July. We still have trees to plant, benches to install, concrete for trash can pads to pour, mutt mitts to install. So there's a lot of finish work that just takes a lot of time most of it isn't paved either. So even though it looks done, we're just asking folks to stay out of the construction area because otherwise crews have to stop work. This is the last piece of the Greenway project and um, we have encountered you know, contaminated materials which we've disposed of according to you know, um, federal, state and local laws and uh, we've uh, encountered unsuitable soils. So we have to put down the right type of pavement system that would fit into the soil conditions that we have. This area had eroded, so for us to build the greenway, we actually had to stabilize it with class two wheat wrap to put some real tough geotextile fabric system to hold that. Another challenge was, of course, the bridge itself. The bridge is a uh, little, you know, close to 270 feet long, single span truss bridge, uh, pedestrian truss bridge, and so it's a challenge as well over there to get that, you know, installed. We have three retaining walls that we uh, have to install for this project. We've completed two of those retaining walls and we're doing the major one right now. If we can build a greenway closer to someone's home, then they don't feel the need to have to drive to park to then walk or ride on the greenway. And that reduces traffic on the streets. You know, it, it keeps people closer to home. It reduces the carbon footprint. It spreads traffic out and just overall makes it a safer experience for folks. Um, so anytime that we can build stuff closer to, to more people in the city, it also is really good for equity. Um, you know, the section by the hospital is in our most affluent section of town. Even though we're still in Southwest, this is a more impoverished area of Southwest in the Norwich neighborhood. And I think having a facility like this is really important for all neighborhoods in Roanoke. You got walkers, you got hikers, you got bikers, you got every type of people, you know, kids, uh, uh, children and parents, families, and they're all here you know, utilizing it. So it's a really great asset to the city and it brings people, to, you know, to the city. The Greenway is our, our, the way we connect our communities these days. So many folks want to be able to leave their car behind and go out and enjoy a bike ride or a walk with their family. And if we can put more Greenways on the ground, it gets people out and active, it improves health and wellness in a community, um, and it just makes people happy. You don't really run into people who are sad on the Greenway or frustrated all that much. Um, you know, there's people here and there, but overwhelmingly people are just excited to be out in the sunshine on a beautiful day and recreating with friends and family or riding their bike to a restaurant or a store and just having a good time.